Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala Muhammed ve ahli beytihi teyyibine tahirin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammedin ve ala Muhammed ve acil farajahum. We are in responsibility 31 in the book The Last Luminary and Ways to Delve into the Light by Sayyid Ridha Husseini Mutlaq. Responsibility number 31 is vigilance in mentioning the Imam. The author says we should not take the proper name of Imam Zaman, Ajallah Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif, when we mention him and we should observe taqiyya, dissimulation, as much as possible. The proper name of the Imam is the first is his first name, which is the same as the Prophet of Islam. And they put Mim Ha Mim Dal. Our Prophet's name is Muhammad. He said, Since we are not permitted to refer to him by his proper name, we should refer to him through his titles and names of uh, affiliation. So, such as uh, Al Mahdi, Al Hujja, Al Qa'im, Al Muntadar, these type of things like this. These names of Baqiyatullah, these names of Imam Zaman. Without a doubt, it is forbidden. Haram to mention the name of the Imam in gatherings in which the enemies of the religion are present and any place where there is fear of the enemies. If there is fear that danger may come to a person, then it becomes forbidden to mention the title of the Imam and the names or titles of the other Imams as well. This is in a state of taqiyya. However, the prohibition of not mentioning the name of the Imam in other instances, for example in gatherings in which there is no fear or danger of the enemies of Islam and where it is not necessary to observe taqiyya, this is a matter of debate amongst the, our scholars. However, that which we deduce from the traditions which speak about the issue is that it is prohibited to mention his proper name in any gathering. So there is a dispute amongst the scholars whether we can uh, mention his name or not. Um, we definitely know in a state of taqiyya we should not or if there is any harm that could come to the imam in that case then we should not it says the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi has said and this is quoted in miqyal al-makaram uh mustadrak al-wasail he is the one whom no one calls by his name openly before his advent except the one who disbelieves in him also, the Prophet ﷺ has said, It is not permitted for anyone to call him by his name or his title before his advent. May the blessings of Allah be upon him. There are many reliable traditions found in the well-known books of Hadith on this issue which reach the level of, um, uh, which reach the level of Mustafidah. Rather, they reach to the level of being Mutawatir, and tell us that it is impermissible to mention the name and title of Imam Mahdi Ajallah Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif before his advent. It is permissible to mention the name of the Imam in supplications and whispered prayers which are recited in private. However, one should keep away from this in large gatherings according to ihtiyat or precaution. It is still better not to do this. So according to Ihtiyat, we should still not mention them according to the author to mention his name in uh, these type of ga large gatherings. The same holds true for mentioning the name of the Imam in secret and in one's heart such that only the person himself can hear what he is saying. This too is permitted. However, it is better to observe precaution in these regards as well. In addition... It also goes against precaution to mention the proper name of the Imam in writing and books. Thus, from the time of the late Sheikh Kuleini until now, we see that our great scholars have not mentioned the name of Imam Zaman in their books or writings, and the methodology of our scholars is constant, and none of them have gone against this custom. Mentioning the proper name of the Imam through the use of the individual letters of his name, Mim Ha, Mim Dal as a way of indicating him is permissible and just as it was previously stated his name is the same as the name of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa ala, and his title is the same as that of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa ala. 
The author continues, the same ruling about mentioning him applies in regards to remembering him by his name and his title in closed gatherings and programs. Those gatherings in which the Shia, especially those particular Shia, such as the ulama and the pious people are present, as long as there, no, there is no fear or danger, there is no need to be in a state of taqiyya. The footnote here comes and says, It is our opinion that in this era, our era that we are living now, the name of the Imam salam, can be mentioned without any fear, and when we look at the history and see the fear and fright of the past, which does not exist today, and thus it is not necessary to refrain from calling the Imam by his name. So before they were in a state of taqiyya, there was much fear, and uh, they were afraid to mention the name of the Imam, so they would not. But now does this time has changed, and this condition does not exist, uh, especially where we are in the West. His condition does not exist. Therefore, the requirement of not mentioning his name is, is not on us. It's not binding on us. We are able to mention his name and his titles. Back to the author's uh, part where he's writing. He says, So what is the reason for it to be prohibited to mention the name and title of the imam? Numerous reasons can be cited why it is forbidden to mention his name. However, we must concede that the true reason for this prohibition has been hidden from us by Allah, the Prophet, and the Emma. Another name of Imam Mahdi, alayhi salam, which is also one of the names of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa ala, is Ahmad. So the question arises that is it also forbidden to mention the Imam by this name? In brief, we can state that it is not forbidden to call the Imam with this name, Ahmed. However, according to precaution, it is better to refrain from this as well. From some of the traditions, we can deduce that it is also prohibited to mention the specific title which the Imam is known by, as it shares the same ruling as mentioning, mentioning his proper name. Some people state that it is forbidden to mention his name and titles, and we must not call him by such things. Is this true? In answer to this, the author says, we state that the strongest opinion um, is that it is not forbidden to mention the titles of Imam Mahdi. However, according to precaution, it is not permitted, and this is how we should tread in these regards by observing this precaution. So he's saying, as a precaution, we should not. Uh, he mentions this narration. In the narration of Al-Khidr, it has been mentioned, and I bear witness to, the, to that man who will come from the children of Hussein, salam, whose title will not be expressly mentioned, nor will his name be called until his advent. So we said we should say something indirectly that points towards Imam Mahdi, or Imam Zaman, um, these things, like the title Sahib Zaman, the master of the age, but it does not directly, it indirectly points to him, but it doesn't put a name on him. It's more of a title and not a specific title towards him. And we should indicate towards him without mentioning his name uh, and without mentioning his title. But this this is the author's opinion, and we saw that in the footnote, we said that this is in the time of taqiyya and in certain circumstances, but when there is no type of fear or any type of worry, then these things are lifted from us and we are able to mention the name and title of the imam with no repercussions and no problems. But the author said this is a matter of uh, dispute amongst the scholars. And one can do either, he can take precaution and not mention the name, or if he is in a state of uh, security and not in taqiyya, he can mention the name or the title. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajjal farajahum.